So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're going to take a look at my Redeemer builds because you've been asking furiously about them. Alright, so both builds require two forma, and we're going to add a V and a dash. So we're going to start off with High Noon, which is the only stance for the Redeemer, and then we're going to add an unranked Life Strike mob, because with the Redeemer you do enough damage to get all your health back with one charge attack. Then we're going to add Pressure Point for more damage, and Body Count to increase our combo timer. And this is very important because when you shoot something with the Redeemer, it doesn't count towards your combo. So if you want to build up your combo with the Redeemer, you have to hit things. And with this mod, you can keep the combo rolling pretty much forever, but it also works very well with Blood Rush, which increases your critical strike chance and it's multiplied by your combo counter. Now I know the Redeemer has terrible crit strike chance and multiplier, but once you build up your combo with Body Count, Blood Rush will allow you to use Berserker, which is amazing for the Redeemer, you know, in the beginning it will be pretty slow, but as you start building up your combo you will start critting more and more and you will speed up and I love it, it's awesome, alright? And finally we're gonna add three elemental mods based on the faction we are going up against. Now let's take a look at the second build, so we're gonna start off once again with High Noon, then we're gonna add Pressure Point for more damage, Fury for more attack speed, Spoiled Strike for even more damage, and Smite Grenier for ludicrous amounts of damage for the Grenier. Then we're gonna add Shocking Touch and um, Molten Impact for radiation damage, and Fever Strike with North Wind for viral damage. Now the reason why I added Fury to this build is because when I'm farming the Grenier for focus, I like to use the charge attack and Fury speeds it up. And this build does ridiculous amounts of damage to the Grenier. Now the build you're watching right now is the first build with the Berserker, and you can see it's absolutely ridiculous. Thanks to Body Count, you will have sort of a 2 or 300 hit combo pretty much all the time, which translates into tons and tons of crit chance through Blood Rush, which also increases your attack speed thanks to Berserker. And this is probably my favorite melee build if I just want to go full melee and have fun with it. And the second build which you're watching right now is just powerful. There is no other way to describe it, this is the hardest hitting melee weapon in the game. And I'm not kidding, if you're using this build with a redeemer and you're using a stealth frame, your average body shot will do somewhere around 50k damage, and your average headshot will do somewhere around 120,000 damage. Just look at the video, play it in full screen, in 1080p, and look at the numbers. They are nuts. The chance of not one-shotting a Grenier unit with this build is pretty damn low, which is why I like to use it for stealth focus farming. So if you want to do a lot of bloody damage to the Grenier, this is the build for you. And before I end the video, I want to say thank you to Mr. Fluffer's Mech Sheep for the Violence Noga statue. Thank you very much, dude. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot, someone figured it out. Someone won 1000 Platinum and Vengeful Revenant today.